Today, the Dakota Warbirds host Wyland Conference rival, the Montreal Cavaliers. Dakota leads Montreal by two games in the Wyland Conference at 6-5, and five, Montreal at 4-7, and seven, and in the cellar. However, anything's possible in the BHL, and this game will have playoff implications down the stretch. Today, between the pipes, Dakota puts Rob Albert, and Montreal will have Drez Rodriguez. Just over a minute into the first period, Doug Nabu will slide the puck up for Jordan Casper, who skates it in and splits the defense and zips a wrister past Rob Albert for the early lead. Montreal ahead, one to nothing. It was a very nice shot, glove side on Albert. Just three and a half minutes later, Christian Morosi will feed Lauren Pearl very nicely up the ice, who will skate it in, take an initial shot from the dot, and then chase his own rebound in and get it past Rodriguez for the equalizer. Score now one to one. Pearl goes in all alone and is able to capitalize on a rebound left by Rodriguez. With just over a minute to play, Terry Liu is going to take it into the Dakota zone and then get tripped up by Patrick Ng, which seems to be an ordinary trip, but he is awarded a penalty shot in this play. As you see here, it looks very benign. It's not like he was on a breakaway, but nonetheless, the referees award a penalty shot. And here we go, as Albert takes his place in the cage. Lou starts with the shot, gives a little spin, but Albert stops him with a nice left pad save. Just seconds later, Lawrence Glue will bring the puck up the right-hand side along the boards and toss it over for Lauren Pearl, who one times his second goal of the game and his second goal of the period, breaking the tie and giving Dakota the lead 2-1. to one. Blue does a great job of going up those right-hand boards, and Pearl just sneaks in on the left-hand side, beating the defense. 2-1 to one, Dakota. Now second period, and a pretty quiet first half of that second period. Ryan Sassaman will circle around with the puck, then center a pass, and Lauren Pearl is there to one-time home his third goal of the game. The hat trick is secured. A very nice pass from Sassaman, and Lauren Pearl is in there all alone and beats Rodriguez on the glove side. Hat trick. Dakota leads 3-1. to one. Oh my God, what's wrong with that guy's eyes? That freaks me out. Minutes later, Jordan Casper brings the puck up along the left boards, and Jamie Shimbashi trips him up and takes the tripping penalty here at 15.25 of the second period. Pretty obvious trip and not a penalty you want to take when your team is up by two goals uh, with a lot of game left to go. Shimbashi not happy with himself. And on the ensuing power play, Jordan Casper is going to make Shimbashi pay for that trip. He picks right up where he leaves off and gets his second goal of the game. The score now 3-2, Dakota. Just over a minute to play, and Chris Coogan will fire a shot in. The rebounds off a defender, and Ryan Sassaman will put the puck past Rodriguez to make it 4-2, Dakota. The goal is unassisted because the puck went off of a defender just before Sassaman got his stick on it and put it in for the goal. Third period now, Mika Kempinen to take a face-off in the Montreal zone. Takes it back for Greg Gazelle, goes over to Morosi, back over for Letnin along the boards, up to Mahoney, turn around, backhand shot, scores! Dakota leads 5-2 on an excellent sample of teamwork by the Dakota Warbirds, all five of the Warbirds having a direct hand in this goal. And in the final seconds, Scott Edmonds would take a shot that goes in the net but does not beat the buzzer, and that's how this one would end with the Dakota Warbirds beating the visiting Montreal Cavaliers by the score of 5-2. to two. And your three stars of the game, third star, Ryan Sassaman. Second star, Christian Morosi. And your first star with three goals, a hat trick in today's game, Lorne Pearl. Today's matchup featured two struggling teams, relatively speaking, and the difference in the game was Montreal's inability to create a significant number of scoring chances and furthermore not capitalizing on the chances they did have, such as on the power play. From here, Montreal goes home to face the struggling Austin Marauders, 4-8 and eight in the MAC Conference, while Dakota travels to Castlegar to take on the first-place Casters at 9-3 and three in the MAC Conference. Once again, today... The Dakota Warbirds defeating the Montreal Cavaliers by the score of 5-2. For BSPN, I'm Caleb Christofferson. Good night and good luck.